Hello, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful black people. I hope that all is well in your world. And this day was a very, very good day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful black loved ones. <clears throat> My black brothers and sisters, it is white folks. It has always been white folks. It is white folks today. And it will be, will still be white folks tomorrow. They are the ones that are threatening our safety, our health, and our lives. It is white folks. They are the ones that have propagated, spread a white supremacy pandemic that has infected all non, all non white people across the globe, right here in America and across the globe. The white supremacy pandemic have even affected too many black folks in a very negative way. In fact, I would say that white supremacy has affected everyone in a very negative way. Just as the COVID-19 pandem pandemic affects everyone in a very negative, in a very bad way, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, as of today, 142,000 human beings have died. Had that idiot white boy in the white boy house initiated, planned, implemented, counteractions, a strategy to confront, to limit, to control the COVID-19 virus. A hundred thousand of those people would probably still be alive, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers. And sisters, it is always white folks using stupid white boy logic, making irrational decisions that have a negative impact on all of us, even white folks. The decisions that was made six months ago to deny the existence of the coronavirus, to deny the strength of it, to deny the danger of it, has caused many deaths. Do you know that it is white folks that have propagated the behavior of not wearing mask, of not wearing face covering, saying that it is unnecessary and Wearing a face covering is a violation 
of their rights, their First Amendment rights, their civil rights, etc., etc. That's the kind of stupid white boy logic that stupid white boys make and have been making since the inception of this plantation called America. And those stupid decisions have affected all of us in a very bad way. The scientists, other countries, have proven, shown us that wearing masks saved lives. But here in America, Trump and his followers, the Republican Party, millions of white folks still do not believe that wearing a mask is necessary. Do you know that we have governors, for example, the governor of Georgia, the state of Georgia, I believe his name is Brian Kemp. The governor of Alabama, I believe her name is Kay Ivy. The governor of Mississippi, his name is Tate Reeves. The governor of Florida, the state of Florida, his name is Ron DeSantis. The governor of the state of Texas. And that white boy's name is Greg Abbott. The governor of the state of Arizona. His name is Doug Ducey. The governor of the state of South Dakota. Her name is Christy Nome. The governor of the state of Iowa, her name is Kim Reynolds. All of these governors that I just named are Trump followers, Trump minions, Trump lackeys, Trump supporters. And all of these governors are white folks. It is white folks that are killing us. It is white folks that are denying health insurance to everyone on this plantation called America. It is white folks that are denying our civil rights in Portland, Oregon. And the idiot Trump is threatening to take more of those white folks likened to the ones in the state of Oregon and deploy them in other democratic-run cities across this country. All of those governors I named are white folks. They are all Republican governors. In their states, the COVID-19 disease is increasing, killing more people in those states every day those Republican-run states. And these white, idiotic governors 
are consistently suggested to other white folks, Republican white folks, that wearing a mask is not mandatory and no one can force them to wear a mask. Some of these stupid white boy governors and white girl governors are even using the federal courts, the state courts, to sue local mayors and city council people when they make wearing a mask mandatory. That punk-ass white boy governor Brian Kemp of Georgia is suing the mayor of Atlanta because the mayor of Atlanta made it mandatory to wear a mask. And Brian Kemp is suing the mayor trying to prevent those Atlanta residents from wearing masks. Kim Reynolds in the state of Iowa is doing the same thing. Greg Abbott in the state of Texas has done the same thing. There's something innate, innately wrong with some white folks. I won't say all white folks, but there's something innately wrong with their human biology. There have to be a some type of genetic mutation that cause these white folks to make these dumb, idiotic decisions. How much intelligence does it take to realize that wearing a mask will save lives? But still, these white folks, Republican white folks, are denying the facts are denying the truths and still suggesting to their supporters, fellow Republicans, that wearing a mask is not necessary. It is white folks that are hurting us. It is white folks that are negatively impacting our health, our safety, our lives. It always have been white folks since the inception of this plantation called America. 142,000 human beings have already died. And the projections are that if mass Wearing is not made mandatory throughout America, then by the end of this year, more than one half million human beings will lose their lives because of the COVID 19 pandemic. And these white folks that are making these stupid decisions not to wear masks, especially those governors, they know this information. They have it. But yet, because of some small-minded, sycophant, delusionist, mindset, these folks will deny the truth and rely on some animalistic 
instinct that they have. It is white folks. It always has been white folks. It is white folks today that are killing us. It is white folks tomorrow. Tomorrow it will be white folks that are threatening our lives, that are threatening our health by the decisions that they make that negatively impact all of us. That's what I have on this one. Please go to the trashaway.libsyn.com.